Right, it's that time of year. M.O.T. Once a year in the UK, we have to have one of these done. It's a vehicle test of safety. Basically that means is that you go into a garage, they check the vehicle over, they make sure it's safe to be on the road. It's scary, really scary, because you don't know what they're going to find. You don't know if they're going to find anything tragic, drastic. You don't know what's going on underneath the vehicle. You kind of know the vehicle, you hope everything's all right, but ultimately you don't know. So, it's that time. Wish me luck. Wish Agnes luck. So it begins. This is the first part. Get it on the ramps. Well, this isn't looking good. Apparently she's broken. There's the dreaded list. So, let's start at the top. Now to do all these. So next on the list, <clears throat> we got the horn. The horn's not working. We need to check what's going on with the horn. There's two horns. Disconnect one, just leave one horn on. We only need one horn. So we'll go from there. Take one off, clean it all up, clean the connections up, and then see what happens. <clears throat> we got the two horns off on the bracket. We're just gonna shorten the bracket so it's just one horn, because we don't need two, we just need one that works. There's a new horn bracket with the horn. We just need to check whether this horn is working. We can do that kind of easy. That's another job off the list. Horn working. So next on the list, We've got rear fog lamp not working. Could just be a bulb, could just be a fuse. That ain't gonna be hard. Let's get the bulb out and see what's going on there. I'd say that bulb was blown. Let's get a new bulb. New bulb, old bulb. Let's get it in. Let's go and turn it on, see if it works. Right, so we've done two jobs. Well, technically we've done four. We've got two new tires on the front. We fixed the horn, we fixed the rear fog light. What's next is headlamp not working on main beam, off size, headlamp not working on main beam, near size. It could just be a fuse, a connection, something simple. We fixed the headlights. That was dead easy. It was just a crappy connection from the main headlight source to the Zenons, which is right here. These connections inside were absolutely just not worth a toss. So we cleaned all them up, replaced them. They're all fine. They're all working great. The lights now go on high and low beam. So that's another job done. Two new tires, 
home working, fog lights working, both headlights working on main beam. Shock absorber has exceptionally warm bush on the offside front. Basically all that is, is that means that the front shock absorber needs to have a washer going on the front where the nut is. Because someone changed it and didn't put the nut on. I wonder who that could be. We're going to replace both suspension struts on each side of the van because that's what you're meant to do. So that's that off, wasn't the easiest of job, now you just to break this from there, fit the new one and put it back up, but first. Got a little helper, she's feeding me and bringing me tea. She's actually a good slave. Aren't you? So next was weld the plate and cover the hole. I think we've done that. We've got the list down to one job. There's a part underneath the van where the door comes in underneath and it's just, it's rusted away. But, the good thing about me is I'm a fucking hoarder. So I keep shit. So when we cut the roof out, we kept sections of the actual roof, which is Volkswagen steel. It's tough, it's durable, it lasts. So, I've made a bracket, which was basically the same as the underneath of the van, the door slider will basically come along here and it'll fit into this channel. This is only the support for underneath because I'll show you now, it's rusted, it's gone, it's just dead. So, we just bend some metal, give it a bit of a weld. We're gonna go underneath the van and I'll show you the disaster. So we've got the ball joint done. This is the last job. And then, then we can get an MOT certificate. Right, so this is the underneath section of the van. This is the bit where the door slides in. And the piece that we've made, the bracket that we've made, or I've made, keep saying we. I always talk to myself and the van is one person. So this section, is going to fit up in there. Once we've got it all into place, we're going to weld it in place and it's basically going to cover this bit. Once we've cut out all the rust and taken all the shite, that's going to replace it. wasn't fun, look at the hair. We finally got it up. We just need to fiberglass over it now. Well, it's up. We had to brace it. Absolute nightmare job. So, just gotta finish the beading off around the edges. Put some fiberglass on it. Give it a paint. And that job's done. Honest to God, this thing has fought me all day long but we win. And no mechanics were involved in the making of this film. Not a film. It's a, I don't know what it is. It's one idea, one van, doing stuff. That'll do. All the repairs are done. The only last thing to do, 
Let's put some of this. Won't even focus. Put some underbody seal on all the work and all the repairs that we've done underneath the van just to make it last that little bit longer. Yeah, you know what I've done in the past. Still you say you and I, we can last. I have found new ways, but no, can I be the one that you need? Then I change my mind, my mind, my mind. Well, that's it, we're finished, we're done. The list has been complete, got nothing else to do. I'm, I'm about to lose my pants. Weren't expecting that, were you? Well, that was it. Basically, it took about four days to do all the repairs on the van. We done welding, we done ball joints. We actually never done the ball joints. I actually put it into the garage to do the ball joints because it needed an upper ball joints on the van. You can do ball joints yourself, but there are certain ball joints that really need to go into a garage because they have the proper presses. I'm not a mechanic. I'll keep telling you I'm not a mechanic. But you can do most of the jobs on the van yourself. You can do most of the repairs on the van. Just at home. Just using basic mechanics tools. The repairs were done. And the repairs were done to an actual standard where it's legal and it's safe to be on the road. So, if you've got any enjoyment out of watching this idiot on this channel, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us some comments in the comment section below. Do you have MOTs where you're from. Do your cars get MOTs? Do you dread the MOT? I personally, I hate it. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, leave us some comments in the comment section below. And until the next video, get out there, buy yourself a van, do it up to whatever standard you want, but you can find so much out there. In the wilderness, just go on an adventure. Do something amazing. Whatever you do, do it well.